How do you recover from an unexpected subscriber problem? What happens to the messages? Stay tuned to find out. CatOut, our asynchronous order processing service, is now looking to deploy an updated subscriber code, which is great, but the challenge is the new executable may erroneously acknowledge messages leading to message loss. Best way to deal with this is, well, you guessed it, don't deploy the new code. <laughs> well, is that ever an option? That's mostly not an option. So what should they really do? Well, there is a feature in Cloud Pops Up called Seek which extends the subscriber functionality by allowing you to change the acknowledgement state of messages in bulk. This means you can replay previously acknowledged messages. There are two ways to perform seek operations. You can seek to a snapshot or to a specific time. If you seek to a snapshot, it allows you to capture the message acknowledgement state of the subscription. This means once a snapshot is created, it retains all messages that were unacknowledged in the source subscription at the time of the snapshot's creation and any other messages published to the topic after that. You can replay these unacknowledged messages by using a snapshot to seek to any of the topic's subscriptions. Snapshots expire and are deleted if the oldest unacknowledged message in the snapshot exceeds the message retention duration. So if your subscription was set to retain messages for say seven days, but you were a day behind in processing the messages, then the snapshot of the subscription would expire after six days. You can use the same snapshot for multiple subscriptions as long as they have the same topic. Seeking to a time marks every message received by PubSub before that time as acknowledged and all the messages received after that time as unacknowledged. But to use the feature, you have to choose to retain acknowledged messages on the subscription. This can be convenient, but usually costs more than snapshots. It may also be inaccurate due to possible clock skews amongst the PubSub servers. So if you want to replay and reprocess previously acknowledged messages, just seek to a prior time. If CatOut is deploying new code for a subscriber, then should they seek to a snapshot or time? Well, they should seek to a snapshot because incorporating snapshots into the deployment process gives a way to recover from bugs in the code. If CatOut faced an unexpected subscriber problem and no relevant snapshot is available, then seeking to pass times is a good way to recover. With CatOut, we saw two use cases where you can use Seek feature in a new code deployment and in an unexpected subscriber problem. Seek to snapshots is also useful when testing subscriber code for performance and consistency because you have to use the same data in every run. Snapshots enable consistent data with strong semantics. That was replaying messages. What about discarding? What if CatOut wants to just save on processing time and cost on backlogged messages that are no longer relevant? In situations like that, you can purge or discard those messages. Just seek to a time in the future and all those messages will be considered acknowledged. All right, so today we learned how to replay and purge messages in Cloud PubSub using the Seek feature by seeking to a specific point in time or to a snapshot. If you want to try out the Seek feature yourself, check out the quick start linked in the description below. Join us next time to learn more about ordering messages in Cloud PubSub. Until then, give us a like, subscribe, and let us know what else you want to learn about Cloud PubSub.